Hi, Paul Thompson here from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you some new total performance patches. Now, these are a free update for owners of Spitfire Symphonic Woodwinds and Spitfire Symphonic Brass, libraries recorded in Air Lindhurst. We've been putting out a huge amount of uh, research into these, and these are the first two patches that are coming in the new update series for the SSO line. So they are the flute solo and the trumpet solo. If you haven't yet seen um, the videos of Andy's two new incredible demos featuring these two instruments, then I would strongly recommend that you check those out. You'll see the patches in context, but you'll also see the sound that you get from the whole SSO playing in concert. Now, let's have a look at the flute first. So I'm just gonna play something and then I'm gonna show you a new view. Now, what the beauty of this and why I'm so excited about this is you have the ability to cross fade between the dynamics and between the vibrato at the same time. And we've also got at the bottom of the vibrato layer, we've got this great flutter tongue as well. Um, there are playable, uh, trillable legato. So as you can hear, very, very agile. It's it's incredibly straightforward and simple to play, and it just responds to the things that you're playing. There's certain technologies in there that are det detecting speed and detecting the, the, you know, interpreting the way that you're hitting the keyboard. Now, in order to make it slightly easier to understand exactly what's going on under the hood, we've designed a play guide, and the play guide shows you these things that you're never totally sure exactly what's going on in terms of the attack of the note. I'm gonna ex explain exactly what's happening uh, from left to right. So on the left hand side, we look at the attack. So we either have uh, at the lowest dynamic, a kind of tenuto attack. In the middle, we have the staccato and staccatissimo. So first of all, staccato. and then staccatissimo is triggered by the speed that you're playing. So as we play faster, it switches to staccatissimo. Now, if you want to audition this just on its own to see how it's playing, if you hover over uh, the staccatissimo legend here, then you will see a lock symbol appear. And if you click that, then it locks to staccato staccatissimo. and we can click that again to get rid of it, but you see it appears over all of these. Now at the top dynamic, at the top velocity, we have the Marcato. And if you wanna again lock to that, so if you want a section which is just uh, auditioning or, or even playing just Marcato attack, then you can lock to that um, and just see how that works. So moving along, we have the legato section. Now here you can see um, uh, two different representations. And again, there are lock symbols here, so you can lock to those if you wish to, to audition. Um, so if we play the first note and then the second note at a slightly lower velocity, then that plays a, a slurred legato, no tongues in there. If we hit the keyboard slightly harder as we're going along, then we get a tongued uh, legato, which gives you that kind of slightly more detached and, and a bigger attack on the destination note. As opposed to... So you can hear the difference there. Now what's happening uh, if we play fast? Well, here we go. 
Now, as we start to play faster, we switch into a fast legato mode, and that is uh, demonstrated if I play a run here. You'll see that it switches to those faster, those semi-quaver, we call them, 16th note uh, legend here, and you get the faster transition. And that applies so it sounds great when you're playing arpeggiated patterns or um, any kind of scattery, fast, very flute-like pattern. Wonderful. It's really great fun to play. Now, um, we've obviously got the control over here on the right hand side. If I move CC21, which is our default vibrato control, you can see that moving there. And again, we've got the dynamic control as well at the same time, so we can, we can use these in concerts. It's just super expressive. So much fun to play. So as I mentioned, we've got a lot of material recorded to uh, start updating some of these instruments in the woodwinds and in the brass um, symphonic series. Um, they are The patches are incredibly complicated, very, very detailed and uh, long programming work. So this is not something that's all going to be coming out in the next couple of months, but they are. This, these are the first fruits of a new series of updates, and these updates are, as I say, going to be rolled out free to owners of Symphonic Woodwinds and Symphonic Brass. Now, you'll notice that uh, I'm working with the CTAO mic. Um, there is also a CTA version, um, but if we switch across to the trumpet, you'll see if I go back to the instrument panel, we have CTA. For the trumpet, there is no CTAO. What we have discovered is that with some instruments, the timbral shift that you have uh, when you move away from the tree uh, and, and to out to the sides becomes incompatible with the programming of the other mics. It just, the timbral differences and shifts are just too great. So the way that we're approaching these, each mic has its own programming. So you can blend them together. You can get the effect of using the different mics, but it's not the kind of thing where you can just program one set and then copy all those results over to every other mic. So you will find that some of the instruments where there are very great timbral changes across the ranges um, will just be the core CTA. And some instruments where it works to bring the outriggers in as well, we will be bringing the outriggers in as well. But just to answer that, because I know there've been a few questions about that aspect online as well. So let's switch to our play guide and have a look at the trumpet. Now, again, uh, working our way from left to right, we've got the same system with the locks appearing. So if you want to use those locks, uh, let's just push the dynamic back up to the top and have a listen. And then And if we go down to the really soft end of the spectrum. Back up to the top.
<laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so you get the idea. All of the same functionality. Uh, we've also got the uh, run sound great on the trumpet. So, um, same controls, same visual identifications in the play guide there so that you can hear and understand and watch and see exactly what you're triggering. They do take a little bit of getting used to the way that you play. So, you know, if you're finding that you're constantly triggering the highest level uh, for the attack up here, for example, then that will obviously affect what you're hearing And, and you might find that as you're playing quickly, you're triggering just the odd marcato at the top. So one way around that while you're performing is to just lock it to the, to the middle here, to stackmo and staccato. But it's a lot easier when you can see exactly what's going on. So it would be really interesting to hear your feedback on the play guide as we continue to refine the libraries into the future and see what what kind of information is really useful to have while you're actually playing. There's also a, a muted uh, model which enables you to play all of the same stuff but with a muted sound. Which is great fun uh, for those uh, detective noir kind of feels. So that is the solo trumpet. So two really, really superb new instruments. Uh, as I say, a free update for people who own uh, the symphonic brass or symphonic woodwind libraries. And as I say, there will be more of these coming in the future, again, as free updates. Do check out Andy's demos. Not only will you see how uh, Andy has used the solo trumpet and the solo flute as a featured instrument, um, and with those great videos that the team have made, you can see what's happening with the UI. You can see, um, you know, how the performance is being shaped by the velocities and by the legato transitions and all that kind of stuff. But also that these are really wonderful, playable, lyrical instruments that are great for fast, explosive stuff, but also have a really great sound and give you lots of control over dynamic and over vibrato and allow you to really perform the instruments as you're playing on the keyboard. Lots and lots of fun to play. Hope you're going to enjoy these new updates. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.